first of all, I would like to um, welcome you all to Cinemoi and welcome you to our show, Inner View. Uh, this is a special show where we actually introduce major films and the cast and the filmmaker to the entire audience so they get to know the people behind films that we choose to expose to the entire US population. So welcome and we're so happy to have you here tonight. And you, you know, you are all in India. use of the film on um, Prakash. Um, um, yeah. You'll say uh, it much better. So please introduce yourselves. Okay. Uh, so I'm Vishal uh, Shalia. I'm from Guwahati, Assam. Uh, me and Ashutosh, we belong from the same state. Our cities are different. Uh, so basically, I'm a BCom graduate. So after finishing my graduation, I joined theater. So I performed in theater for several years and later I joined cinema. So like that, I made several short films and documentaries and CISO was my first feature film. So that's it. And currently I'm writing two new scripts of my feature film and he's Om Prakash. Uh, he's one of the uh, producers of the film. Uh, one producer is not present with us. Her name is Priyam Karikatari. She's not here. So he's here and basically he's a businessman and also he is also an actor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you can support yourself. I can see the camera loves you. But all of <laughs> you. Um, so Vishal, I have so many questions. First of all, sure. let me tell you that Siju is a beautiful film. Not mm -hmm. only because of the story, but because of the visuals and how you lead the viewer and the audience into the story by taking them into this world of beauty and harshness all at the same time as cinematography is out of this world but your direction is also very beautiful and i just am so proud that you have made this film about such an important important subject so my first question is to you, Vishal. Um, you know, as I watched the film, I realized, um, because I know you wrote it too. Oh, they turned off the camera. Sorry, right, sorry. That's okay. Um, so yeah. let me ask you again. Um, you know, I know that you, Vishal, are the filmmaker, and this movie takes you into an environment that is very prevalent right now. It's all about abuse of women, abuse of children, you know, the domination of by force into innocence, into an innocent village. And it was during the time where Bhutan suffered a great deal from this kind of situation. So obviously because you wrote the script, you must have really researched the history. Please tell me how you came about this story and what engaged you so much to tell the story from a child's point of view. Okay, uh, so first of all, uh, he came to me uh, with the idea that uh, there was actually this slavery system which was prevalent uh, between the India and Bhutan borders. I didn't know about it. So when he said to me that there was this kind of system which was there, which was practiced by the Bhutanese people. So immediately I had that inclination for this subject. So I said, okay, I'm going to make it, I'll write it. So first let's go and do the research. So when I went for the research, I came to know that there is no written record of it. Like nobody wrote any book or nobody made any film in a large scale from where people will come to know that there was actually something like this. So when we researched, we came out we came to know that uh, only the descendants of the victims are alive today. And it's just, the story is just 
uh, I mean, in their memories, it's not written anywhere. So that's why I thought that, okay, let's go and make this film. Cause if we make it successfully, at least the posterity, when they'll watch this film, uh, they will have an idea of what this uh, situation was like, like of that period. So After going through many acting schools, I didn't find any. So later, uh, he said that we should go to a school, a primary school. Uh, so we went there and then we found like a lot of kids there playing around. So we decided, okay, we'll audition from them. And like that, we shortly stayed 10 or 15 kids. And from them, I chose Bijit Basumatari for this uh, role, Sijo, to play this role. And why did you decide on Bijit? What was it about him? that well, uh, immediately, uh, like i was captivated uh, by his eyes i really find his eyes very attractive <laughs> so that's why i just because him i really find his eyes very attractive so that's the main reason and also he's a very good actor i don't want to say it in front of him i just don't want to say in front of him that he's a good actor <laughs> he's a brilliant actor i'll say it in front of you all day long bg um, okay. but <laughs> as to Tosh, I, want... Thank you. <laughs> I, as to I wanted to ask you something because obviously yes, your camera was a magnificent because you captured his emotions <laughs> and the other, you know, his, his friend, the other little boy and the way they kind of connected and the game playing and you developed a relationship with the looks and the laughter and the closeness. Now you use the camera as a person because the camera was following your characters almost like we were in the movie. Tell me about your approach. Um, all right, my approach actually goes way back when we were like making the short film with Vishal. So uh, since then till now we're like, really good friends and I know how he looks to a story, how Vishal looks to a story. So when he told me, like I got back, back from London, okay, that particular day I got back from London and um, Vishal called me up and he said like, yo, let's meet up. And I, I, went, I went to his place and we, we were discussing about the story and when he was telling me about the story, I really wanted myself into the story, like as me as a, as a character of the story. So. Like if I, if I have to go with that, so therefore I took the camera in a way that I stick to the characters mostly, not, not stabilizing shots, not like very, um, you know, decorating shots, but raw shots, raw nature, raw expressions, raw human emotions. So I really wanted to go in that way because when Michelle told me about the story, I felt that way. Yeah, I can see that. You know, uh, it was interesting because of the environment, the environment first of the village, which was kind of poor and, you know, and kind of empty in many ways, except for the huts where they lived. And then, you know, the, the work that they did to be able to survive. And then you took the, you took the story into a very lush jungle where you saw a lot of green and a lot of trees, but that's actually where the worst things happened in the camp. But yet there was beauty of the environment all around, which I think the cinematography was phenomenal. What were you trying to say with all of that? Uh, are you asking this to me or to Ashadosh? No, Vishal, I'm asking you, and then I will ask the same thing in terms of uh, the actual portrayal of the cinematography? Yes, uh, okay, first of all, <clears throat> uh, when I showed that village, oh yes, uh, no, I don't, okay. when I showed that uh, village, uh, I want to show that the people were in a very uh, distressed condition. They were like suffering from this slavery system and all that. 
so it's very basic that their conditions the environment will be very like very negative or something like that already they were getting suppressed by the powerful people uh, but that was very contrary uh, if we compare it with the environment of the i mean those bhutanese people who were living in a much better condition than them so despite that even those even the environment was also very uh, i mean it was though very it was very colorful vibrant still we can feel that gloominess inside those uh, slaves who are there so that's the exact thing like you were right on target you were right on the point that i wanted to show that thing that comparison with the environment and the emotions getting played inside the minds of the characters and everyone who are treated as slaves there so well, then i said that it was interesting yes. because what happened was you were against the bare environment you showed happiness even though they yes. were slaves and they were working for these dominant soldiers that were the evil people you showed happiness all the kids were running around the parents were playing with the children there was all these games even though they had nothing they played with shadows on the wall but it was interesting that you chose you know this bare environment to express happiness and this slush environment to express horror was that purposeful yes it was purposeful i did it just take a minute to thank you all so much for making the film uh, if we you know i i think we can stop recording in a minute but i just want to tell you that we at cinema uh, appreciate you so much and we intend to really expose the film in a major way and really do a lot of promotion to make sure that people know about it and I want to congratulate each and every one of you for this incredible commitment, both in terms of the cinematography, the direction, the filmmaking, the acting, the cinematography, the music. I love the music. You know, everything that you've done is first class. Uh, and thank sorry you to interrupt. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Daphna. I just wanted to say one more thing with you, and that is. Uh, the music composer, uh, uh, he has composed music for the very first time for this film. He's a very, he's, this, this is his debut film. This is the yeah. debut film of the cinematographer. This is the debut film of the director. This is the debut film of the editor. This is the debut film of the protagonist. This is the yes. debut film of the script supervisor. I mean, a lot of people, <laughs> this film is the debut film. Like we love, we want to for the first but, time. <laughs> but you just won awards. I hear that you just won. This incredible oh, yes. three awards. So obviously you've done something good. And we will make sure and we want to actually see if we can get you more awards. So thank you, thank you from thank the you. bottom of our hearts for making thank you. this film. Thank you. Thank you.